Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shock Strong back with another video, and this time we have another Monopoly board game review. And this is Dogopoly, as you can see. There is the front here. Just various dogs. We got a golden retriever. Um, I think that says terrier of some kind. Dalmatian, uh, bulldog, um, chihuahua. I think this is a beagle. We got a little yorkie. Um, looks like a pug right here. Um, not sure what that is. We have a mastiff right here, I think. And then right over here, we have a boxer. It's pretty cool. This is a very, very cool game for uh, dog lovers or just Monopoly lovers, such as myself, that like to collect these boards. This is made by the Late for the Sky company, I believe. It's two to six players, ages eight to adults. It's a tail wagging pro uh, property trading card game. I mean, trading game, sorry. Same thing on the other side. And on the bottom, shows you the pieces. And here's the board, which we'll get to in a second. This is actually, uh, yeah, it's. It's made by that in Cincinnati, Ohio. Then you guys can read this. Which is pretty cool. Again, another dog on the back. But, let's get her open. Right, we're going to put this in the back. Here we have a board, and it's uh, blue until you open it up, but we'll get to that in a second. And when you open it up, it's just a normal Monopoly board. Well, that, uh, it's not a normal Monopoly board. It's not even really a Milton Bradley branded, but it's basically the same setup. Got your money here. It's all the same. We got green 500s. A really, really, really like whitish yellow 100. We have orange 50s, which is actually like the 500s in normal Monopoly. Then we have like almost like a, I don't even know, like a mellow yellow pretty much. And that's normally for 10s, and then 10s are like a light blue color, which are 50s. Fives are the same color, which is pink. And we have ones are the same color, which is white. And here are the rules here. You guys can read it. It's pretty much a normal Monopoly, except with like a dog twist, which is pretty cool. Really like it. On the back. Some more rules. Like I said, you guys can read. If you guys can't read, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, there you go. And there it's focusing. That's pretty cool. So, you lift this up, and you get your pieces here, get your houses your property and your chance and uh, community chess cards so we'll close this put this off to the side for now and we will take a look at the character pieces real quick which are just dog bowls which is pretty cool Got a blue dog bowl, got a green one, you got a yellow one, orange one, a red one, and a wooden colored one. And you can, if you want, put the doggy treats and the dog bowl, I mean, uh, <coughs> the dog bones in them.
but these are actually, this is the hotel, and the dog treats, which are these little things, just random shaped ones. These are the houses, which is pretty cool. Nice little addition. And these are what feel like wood covered in some like varnish or something, which is pretty cool. They come in these little bags, which is pretty cool. Way. Set these off to the side. So coming to look at the chance of community chess cards, they look like this. We have bad dog and good dog, which is pretty cool. Just to show you them real quick, I'm not gonna read them to you. I'm trying to make my camera focus. I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly, so just in, in the uh, essence of saving time, so some of these are pretty cool. I like the art on them. It's just a very, very nice little touch, just to make it a unique themed board game. Like I said, these are all dog themed, which is pretty cool. So, there are the bad dog cards. Let's put these off to the side. Then we have the good dog cards, which are pretty cool. Let's see what these ones say. There's some focus. There you go. <laughs> that one's pretty funny. Get out of the kennel free. You guys knew that one was coming. How could they not put that? Hopefully these are staying in focus. Very, very, very cool. There are the good dog cards. And now, on to the property. So the properties are dog cards, well, dogs, and they go from smallest dog to biggest dog, but I don't have these in order, so I'm just going to show you what they will look like. So they have a little bone at the top, which is the corresponding color to whatever property it is. It has a little picture of the dog right here in the corner, and it has the mortgage value, and then for the hotel and the houses, which are the toys and the big bones. And I thought they were actually treats, so I was wrong. They're actually uh, toys. So my mistake, guys. So showing you guys the property. I'm not gonna read these. I'll, I'll read the dog name, but I'm not gonna read all this crap on here. And then. Just to show you the back, gives a little bit of uh, fun facts about the dog, well, the breed of dog, but anyways, we have a Chihuahua, I'll just flip these over so you guys can read them, Yorkshire Terrier, is that staying in focus, yep, there it is, St. Bernard, Pretty cool. Great Dane. I really like these dogs. Always want to get one. That or a Great Pyrenees Beagle. Dachshund. Boston Terriers. So that's what it was. I knew it was a terrier, I just didn't know, didn't know it was a Boston Terrier, but there's that. 
So we have, um, I guess these are dog houses. So there's that. So this is celebrity dogs and helping dogs. We have mutts. And pedigrees. Bulldog. My friend wants one of these dogs. Basset Hound. Got bit by one of those when I was a kid. Had to have it in quarantine. Got butcher shop. Nothing on the back. And of course, <laughs> fire hydrant. That, 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 that's pretty cool. Doberman pincher. Like these dogs also. Got a greyhound. German Shepherd, Boxer, Poodle, Dalmatian, Akita, Mastiff, Rottweiler, I like these dogs too, they're pretty cool, somebody across the street from school had these, well the Rottweilers, we have a Collie, aka Lassie, Golden Retriever, Labrador Retriever, which is the last one. So focus, come on. There we go. Very, very, very cool. So there are property cards. Get these and these all rubber band up. So onto the board. So opening it up, both on the wrong side. Start with the go, and it is go fetch. And the arrow has actually a a stick, which is very, very, very ingenious. I love it. So we have the bones here. Instead of having like the little square thing, which is pretty cool, and they're not actually straight, they're like angled, which is a nice touch. But I'm just gonna go slowly around so you guys can see. Fleas, that's pretty nice. Good dog, Boston Terrier, Beagle. Going around, we have the kennel, and this is just sniffing. Instead of it being a jail and just a visiting, it's very, very cool. And there's the fire hydrant. Siberian Husky. Instead of go to jail, it's go to kennel. The kennel. There's a bad dog again. Saint Bernard. Then the vet fee. And this is where boardwalk would be, which is a uh, Great Dane. So the two largest dogs, at least on this board, are boardwalk and park place. And here is the actual. Center of the board 
has, uh, I think, a Mastiff dog, and it says Dogopoly. It says that. Very, very cool board game. I do recommend getting this if you guys like Monopoly game boards. You want to get one for uh, a dog lover, or if you're you yourself are a dog lover, I recommend getting this. I got this at my local Goodwill for surprisingly only four bucks, and it's I think ten bucks on eBay if you want to get yourself one. But just I do review of it, and I'm gonna be adding this one to my collection for only four bucks. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this review. Got more Monopoly reviews and other board game reviews coming up. I just gotta get some of them out of the attic and in the closet. And hopefully hunt for some new ones. I got some ones I'm eyeing on Craigslist right now. So, anyways, see you guys later.